Hello, my lovelies. I'm Ginny O, the author with no last name, and this is our first Let's Play of Big Farm Story, a game put out by Good Game Studios, and you might know them from their browser game, Big Farm. So, they have recently put out a offline mode in beta, and it gives you three different save slots. So, obviously this is a farming game, but it does have quite a bit of story to it, so let's get started. Are we done now, Grandpa? Farm work has never finished, little one. Okay, we are cute. I'm in big cat, work gloves, can't see a thing about us, but we are really cute. Before today, we're almost done. See those carrot plants? Why don't you harvest those last ones for me? And here, four brand new seeds to sow afterwards. So Grandpa here is teaching us how to farm. You want me to do it all alone? I'm certain you'll do great. Here, go ahead. Alright, we've picked up some carrots. Got four of them. Now those seeds will need water. See the well? It's very obvious. <laughs> you can get water from there. Then we can run over, get water from the well. And um great! Now just plow the field and plant a seed. I really kind of like this little kid character because he's um he or she can be anything you oops want it to be. And this is your basic your tutorial telling you you know showing you how to how to do all the little planting real quick. All right, Grandpa looks very you know pleased. Very well done. You'll become a great farmer one day. Just like you, Grandpa. <laughs> Let's bring these inside and bake a huge carrot cake. Really? Yay! That is if you like carrot cake. And carrot cake can be really good with the right cream cheese frosting. So, here we are with our, ran or with our character. And we can um, choose our pronouns to be a she, her, or a he, him. And we can randomize our appearance here. And um, it, it just does your head. <laughs> doesn't do your outfit. Or we can move on. And we can choose our, different, our clothing, our skin color, our clothing color, our head, and our face. So let's let's move everything to the right. So we have um, overalls. We have a button down and a uh, rolled up pants option with some sort of loafer here for, for in a with a, in a female body type. We've got a overalls in a male body type and. Uh, I, I think that's supposed to be like a polo or a Henley. I don't know why it has a seam all the way down the front. All right, so let's let's just choose to be, you know, have a button-down shirt, and then our skin color can be a light brown, a ivory <laughs> bear, if you want to call that, um, something that's a little bit more tonal. It, 
can look kind of yellow in certain lights. So I think this is supposed to be the Asian skin coloring, not my, the best in my opinion. And then we have this kind of tan olive skin color. But Grandpa's brown, so I'm going to be brown like Grandpa. And then you can choose the color of your clothing, purple, yellow, red, white, white with green, and white with purple. I like purple, so we're going to stick with that. And then your head, you have um, two female heads and two male heads. And the difference is your nose size. So you can choose, you know, do you want a small nose or a big nose? And I, I'm going to go for a broader nose. And then we can go, and then you can choose your face. And the face it will be like a smiley face with eyebrows, you know, some, some lipstick. Your eyebrows can be thick or thin. And then, you know, and, and some of these are a bit more like male looking than others. So, we'll go with this face here with the red lipstick and the, and the thin eyebrows. And then you can now go on to the hair color. So your hair, there's four different hairs. Or you, there's hair, there's hair color, there's and there's a beard and a beard color. So hair one is a ponytail with a headband. We've got this sweeping side thing. We've got a bob here. A swept to the side part kind of uh, androgynous cut. A, a shaved cut kind of here. A Afro and another like a pulled back bob. I'm not quite Karen. Let's. I think I'm gonna stick with. Or you can be bald if you want to be bald. Let's let's stick with that. I'm gonna do the ponytail. So let's the hair. And if you change your hair color, it changes the color of your headband. Mostly they're pink or. Um, it's kind of blue purple, which doesn't match the shirt for some reason. Uh, you got a purple with a pink. You get a red with a teal. Kind of. Well, let's go with this white. Kind of. I still like, I, you know, I like being Storm here. We'll be Storm. And then, of course, if you want a beard, you can give it a beard, but <laughs> different beard colors. So let's choose a name. Yeah. And I'm going to stick with Ginny Zero here, but we'll just give myself a number zero rather than a letter O. Confirm. Yay! When I was a kid, I loved visiting Grandpa's farm. These days we write letters to stay in touch. But recently he stopped replying. Until this mysterious message arrived. Oh no, lightning storm. Dear Ginny, I hope this letter finds you well. This may come as a surprise, but I want you to take over the farm. Please come here as soon as you can, and I will explain everything. With love, Grandpa. All these grandfathers leaving us farms. This is a very common farm game trope. All right. So here's our map, and we're going to our new farm, and oh dear, it looks a bit of a mess. What happened here? Yes, my character is expressing exactly what I'm expressing. What happened here? Oh dear. Continue. <sighs> Looking around. Help! This, there's this guy sitting here under some, uh, some rubble. Oh, hey. Finally, I've been here for an hour. Well, did you tell anybody you were coming here? This is the first rule of safety. Please, help me get this off. It's, it's too heavy. I can't. He is stuckest. Grab one of those fallen branches and use it for leverage. So, let's go grab these branches. This one's too small. Are there any others? Oh dear, this one is rotten. Please search for another one. Yes, that one! Alright. 
get them out of here. Okay, now try again. Ooh. Hooray! <sighs> Let's have a chat. So he has this exclamation point over his head with a star, so that must mean that he has something important to say. You can click on his little speech bubbles and thank you. I owe you one, Jenny. It's me, Benny. We used to play together as kids. Do you remember me? Benny, of course I remember you. Or I don't remember you. Sorry, it was so long ago. <laughs> I, you know, I remember my childhood friends. <laughs> Benny, of course I remember you. It's great to have you here again, Jenny. Oh, right, I almost forgot. Your Grandpa Walter asked me to give you the key. Here you go, and congratulations! The key for the house? Thanks. I hope Grandpa's alright. Any idea where he went? <sighs> no, I last saw him before the storm. Certainly he'll be back soon. Yeah. He's not going to be happy about all the storm damage. But the buildings were all dilapidated anyway. That's not a nice thing to say. I've gathered all the materials that can still be used, but you'll still need a lot more. And I repaired the farm box before my little accident. It's on the road leading to our place. <laughs> hey, how about we put your rusty farm knowledge to the test? Buy a few seeds from the farm box and fill the empty field areas. Your grandpa will be happy too. <laughs> rusty? Are you kidding me? I'll show you. I'll be here to help you in case you have questions. Ah. Oh, when you need to fix the well, it took a beating from the storm. So now we can collect some XP. Where did Benny set up the box again? I should check my notes. So you can go down here and check your notes in your journal at any time. And you can hit the little track button if you feel like you're going to be lost. You, have, you can hit track. And you'll get little, um, ah, yes, I remember, it's on the road to, towards the carpenters. Little footprints on the ground, which is kind of cool. All right, so, and, and they do follow you. It's kind of funny. <laughs> you can buy, and you have to buy four of them. You don't have a choice. Yay! Okay. And you need to repair the well. So well, and you need one of the branches to pick up. Go figure. Ooh. Once you collect some water, you can plant the carrot seeds. And you should have more because some carrot seeds did drop while you were working, you know, out with Grandpa all those years ago. So why you keep carrot seeds for so long? I don't know. Here we are. So we are over here. We have a energy bar, and so with the and then on, to upgrade our energy, we can eat food if we have it. If we don't, but we have 18 of 35 energy. So we need to talk to Benny. It's getting dark out. <laughs> Great job! Looks like you haven't forgotten anything your grandpa taught you. I should hope not. It's getting late. Use the key to the house and get some sleep in bed. <sighs> I'm going home now, too. See you tomorrow! So we got some XP, a little bit of it, and we got the farmhouse sticker. So your journal is really kind of like this big sticker book almost, where, you know, you can discover items and, um... <laughs> I don't know what I don't know what to say. You like you and you get upgrades and rewards and stuff and it's all recorded here in your sticker book. You know, we've met Benny, he's at level one friendship, you know, we can I don't know, we can just keep track of everything from our pets to our animals to our items, all here in, in our journal, aka sticker book. So let's get some sleep. Unlock the house, and miraculously it paints itself and fixes the <laughs> fixes the uh, roof. So that's nice of it. 
and we have a whole bunch of boxes in here. It's getting late. We should get some sleep. Well, let's pick up these boxes first, because that's kind of ridiculous. We have boxes, boxes everywhere. Oh, and there seems to be some sort of thing here at the side of a pillow underneath this window. That's a little strange. What's in oh we have we don't have another window to put there. But if we click this little button over here, this little paintbrush on the left hand and um, yeah, the left hand side, it will disable edit mode so you don't have to see where you know things can go on the wall. Alright, before it tosses us in bed. Let's get some sleep. <laughs> Our first day on the job. All right. So here you see we got a, we found a lot of stuff, and what all of this stuff is is some DLC that I bought back at Halloween time because it was you know nice and I liked it. So here we are. Hooray! Oh yes, and we have go outside. <laughs> So Benny's back, and it's now a bright, sunshiny day. Hey. Good morning, Ginny. I hope you slept well. <laughs> There's nothing better than sleeping in a cozy bed to recharge your energy. I have a small welcome gift here. Maybe you can find a nice place for it in the house. <laughs> so it, we can clear away rubble. How We have uh, some potted plants and a clock. Thank mm -hmm. you. Have you already had a look at your field? <laughs> it looks like your carrots grew big overnight. They are the perfect size for harvesting. You can sell the harvest directly at the farm box without leaving your farm. Neat, right? And if you feel like tidying up, there is sure to be some useful material under the rubble. So, green thumb. I was never known to have a green thumb, but these indoor plants are guaranteed to thrive under anyone's care, says someone named Rita. Hooray! And then we have a Roman numerals clock. On old clocks, the number four was also often represented as, as I, 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 although it should have been represented as I, V as a Roman number. I prefer the correct version. It's one less line. Levi. Okay, Levi. So we need to um, harvest the carrots and clean up some rubble. And now in the top right corner of our screen, we have a a day timer and it's 6 20 in the morning so we can go over here now and sell the carrots at the box one two three four and i'll get us 12. so you can buy them at one coin a piece and sell them for 12 coin a piece which is not a bad little deal all right then what do you have to say hey. hi again about the carrots. <laughs> hey, didn't you say you haven't done this in a while? They look great to me. Thank you, but it was just carrots. I still have to brush up on some of my notes. But I'm worried about my grandpa. He hasn't come home yet. Do you know where to look for him? <sighs> the best thing to do is ask my dad, Owen. The road to the right leads to our home. You will find him there. I'll wait here in case he comes back while you're hmm. gone. You have these seeds. We're obviously much better at farming than I am. So... We can now go to the carpenter's homestead, get some carrots, and there's some water. Oh, we're level two! So every time you level up, you get some three cards, and um, you can learn a skill or get some uh, seeds types, or you can, uh, or seed sticker types, or you can learn something. So, or you can, later on, there will be different some different rewards, we hope. So, digging! Yes, let us dig! As a kid, I wanted to dig for treasure, but I only ever found root vegetables, and then I had to eat them too. Awful! Was well, that my brief career as a treasure digger was over, says Sam. Alright, so we gotta let's quickly clean up the rubble before we go talk to Owen because a tidy farm is a good is a uh, nice farm. Screws! Screws are a fantastic invention. They go all the way back to the Greeks and were already in use around 400 BC. I guess people have always liked good craftsmanship. Or you could use dovetail carpentry, but that's not as easy, is it? 
clover. It's hard to find a real four-leaf clover. Can you believe that someone run one with 18 leaves? Would it bring 4.5 times more luck? Says someone named Connor. And wildflower seeds. Indigenous wildflowers are perfect for the fields. They are easy to grow and offer a feast for bees, bumblebees, and butterflies. All right, Grandpa, that's interesting. So we can... So as you can see, there's still, you know, a lot of things you can kind of collect as you're wandering around. Flowers. You know. I had a childhood friend named Marigold. Yes, we hate Marigolds. Ironic that she was terribly allergic to those flowers. This is someone named Matilda. And if you, you can find decoration spots. And these decoration spots, you can fix them with branches and screws as long as you have the farmhouse. And, you know, the screws. <laughs> and there are small decoration spots and medium decoration spots. Oh, plant fiber, aka grass. Great for weaving rope, but I wouldn't recommend adding this to your diet unless you're a goat, says Amelia. Hmm. And, oh dear, oh dear, there's a, a, a little corgi puppy. Ha <laughs> The dog looks scared and whines. Aww. Hey, little one, are you lost? He whines again, but carefully sniffs your hand. Hmm, no tag. Maybe you want to come with me. Woof, woof. He rags his tail and delights. Aw, you're so cute. I always wanted my own dog. So you have now found the corgi puppy and this is a cardigan Welsh corgi because he has a tail. If he didn't if he did not have a quite so long and fluffy tail, he would be a Pembroke Welsh corgi. And this is a steed to the fairies. And your corgi, whom I'm going to name Pumpkin, um <laughs> it is, can find you treasures hidden around the maps. Whether or not you like this or not is up to you. Your this mechanic or not is all on you. But that's what he does. So now you have your our very own puppy. Before you add bay leaves to your cooking pot, you should tear their edges slightly. That way, even more of the essential oils are released, says Claire. Handy uh, cooking tip. So now, we, and because we can dig, we can dig up these piles of sand and dirt. I remember Hannah once took some beets from the garden to eat raw. Her face was stained red for days. Yeah, don't eat beets raw. <laughs> Pickle them. <laughs> Cook them. Don't eat them raw. A pebble. When it is smaller than a boulder but bigger than granules, I call it a pebble. Pebbles are an excellent building material. You can find them near water. Uh, you know, that's basically what you have to make. It's just a bunch of pebbles and sand mixed together. Daisies. Daisies are lovely, and they are also an important source of food for bees and bumblebees. It's good that they bloom almost all year long, says Lydia. And what's this? This is elderflower. The twins love the tea I make for them, but elderflower dew is also wonderfully refreshing for the face. If it's cold, I go off of understand. Okay. Hmm, how many more of these? Oh, we're doing good, right? We got 17 of the rubble. Alrighty then. We're getting there. Sand. It gets everywhere. Enough said, says the fisherman. Oh, bleep. Oh, look, a treasure chest. Not yet unlocked. We need a treasure key. So it will be a possible level up reward from level six. So we need to do more quests. Well, that makes sense. Horseradish. I don't like the taste of horseradish, but it's true what they say. It's worth its weight in gold. It has incredible healing powers, says Matilda. Wow. Well, we're missing... how many are we missing? 
We are missing one. Of course we are. How silly. Did I not go far enough to the left? Or to the right? Hmm. All right. That's a small one. There it is. Oh, we just missed it because it was matching the, the um, ground. All right, let's... Now we have a nice, tidy, clean farm that we will be, you know, in piles of materials around everywhere. <laughs> we can show it off to the carpenters. All right, talk to Benny, who is fussing with the farm box. Squeaky click. This is all the bubble we gathered while cleaning up. Can you make use of it? Huh. That's a lot. Let me see. Uh -huh. Yes, there are some things Owen and I can use for crafting. Thank you. Here, take these coins in exchange, and you should keep some of the materials uh -huh. yourself. Now that all the rubble is gone, you might want to decorate your farm a little, too. Hey. Here, you can use these if you like. You can buy more decorations from my dad or in other stores. So he gave us a comfy bench. A few well-placed pillows can be the difference between comfort and a bad back. Trust me, I have a lot of experience, says Matilda. And a pretty garden lamp. Lights are great because they help me find my way back home. It's too bad they confuse insects so much. That's why we only use the lights we really need. Light pollution is a thing. And now we have a big picnic basket in case we run low of energy. The same sandwich tastes so much better when you're having a cozy picnic out in nature instead of eating it at your kitchen table. Isn't that spectacular, says Peter? Well, thank you. Let's go talk to Owen at the Carpenter's Homestead. Oh dear. Oh no. Things are all messy here, too. <laughs> By the blasted wind, if it isn't little Ginny! Well, not quite so little anymore. Mm. Your grandpa told me he was handing over the farm to you. Congratulations! Thank you. Thanks, but have you seen him by any chance? My grandpa? Hmm. <laughs> no, not for a while, actually. Your grandfather was acting a little strange recently. Very secretive. You know, but he might be with Mayor Connor in town. <clears throat> Unfortunately, we can't get into town at the moment. The storm destroyed the bridge. I hope he's alright. I saw Benny at the farm. He's going to keep looking there. <sighs> That's my boy. But that does mean we are one man short for the cleanup. Look at this. I can help. I'm not sure what else to do while I'm getting. <laughs> Thank you, Ginny. I wouldn't want to bother you, but we could really use your mm -hmm. help. Talk to my wife, Amelia. She's organizing the cleanup. Alright then. So let's go talk to Amelia and Sam. Who are cleaning up. <gasps> oh, hello there. You must be Ginny. Your grandpa, Walter, told us to expect you. Indeed, ma'am. I'd like to help with the cleanup since Benny can't. Hmm? That's very kind. But where is Benny? He stayed at our farm in case Grandpa comes back. He seems to be missing. Hmm. I'm sorry to hear that, Ginny. I'm sure he's in town safe with the mayor. They've been quite close lately. <laughs> it's nice of you to want to help. Sam, look at it! Sam, look who it is! Remember, Ginny? Oh. Hi, what are you doing here? Oh. Ginny has offered to help us clean up. Isn't that nice? Mm -hmm. Sure, I guess. Let's get started then. Sam is not enthusiastic. Alright, let's go! Clean, clean, clean. Well, it would have been a little more fun to collect rubble, but... They're going after things with an axe. Yeah. <laughs> Yay! Ha! Great work! So now we can go to Shepherd's Farm, we get more energy, and we have Amelia's store! Mm -hmm. Thanks for helping and all. Of course! Is there anything else I can do to help? Why are you being so nice? We're good here. Oh. But if you're intent on being useful, maybe have a look at the Shepherd Farm? My dad is headed there to see if they need help, since they have small kids. I will! Thanks, Sam. See you ha. later. Sure. Whatever. Oh, we've leveled up again. So, do we need to... Potatoes, dandelions. Collect mushrooms. 
Mycology. <laughs> this book is a collaborative work by several local mycologists. It must be great to pass on your knowledge to future generations in this way. Amelia. Well, she's very, very nice. So go to the shepherds. Alright. Let's do some quick clean up around here. Cotton. Fields of cotton always remind me of tiny floating clouds. From Lydia. Clay. I once tried to make figures out of clay with the children. The result was interesting, says Amelia. Oh, there's a treasure chest behind the the well, the farm this tractor barn. Feathers! The feather is mightier than the sword, says Rita. Which is referencing when they use feathers as pens. Why not? <laughs> Alright, so I think once I clean up here, I think I'm going to call it a day before we go to the shepherds. They have small children. You know how small children are. Oh dear. This, this bridge is out, and it will take a bridge repair help and some logs to get it, so get it unstuck. So, yeah, you know, wait, it could be, a, uh, could, there could be trouble coming. And the little oh, there's another treasure chest. Flax fiber. Linen clothes are better than some people think. They are a bit stiff at first, but naturally become softer with each wear. They are also very easy to care for. That's Lydia. That's actually fairly typical of most fabrics. Um, <laughs> if you tried uh, un <laughs> raw cotton denim, <laughs> you would never wear denim again. <laughs> very, very tough, but very, very stiff and very, very blue. All your denim has been pre-washed, pre- and pre-treated and pre-pounded with rocks. <laughs> Anyway, yes, I'm going to call it a session right here before we go to the shepherds. So, take care of yourselves, my love saints. Thank you for listening. Stay safe, bless, and I will see you in the next video.